I'm coming. Every day is one thing or the other. Every time I try to communicate with her, she sees that see, she sees it as, as an attack. She's hardly at home. Whenever she's at home, she's locked, she's locked away in her room. If I don't talk to her, she won't talk to me. I've been trying to be patient, but it's very hard. It's like she's a completely different person. You see, we should do Bible study. We have been doing it, but it is not working. I don't know what to do again. Don't you sue me? Uh, listen, it stands like this that you need to be steadfast and believe that God's truth will intervene on her behalf. Amen. And His grace will be sufficient for you and see you through. Amen. Let's pray. I'm sorry guys, I'm late. So you guys started without me, Abby? I'm so sorry. I tried to talk to him, I begged him. I said, please, this with Ashera, she's my best friend in the world. But he said never. And then he opened my purse and forced me to. How dare you get it? This girl is not me, okay? She used that day before me. My best friend in the world. So, so where were you? Family, special bonding time. Mm -hmm. What did she do this time? Dragged me to go and see pastor for counseling. Counseling? Why? That's it. She's trying to save your soul. <sighs> I swear, guys, I can't even wait to go to the university so I can leave that house. You've been saying that since. I'm sure when you finally go now, you'll be homesick. I'm more like sick of home. And that's definitely not going to happen. Plus, you can't even miss something you never had. Right? I still don't get it. I don't understand why you chose him as a best choice. Please, what's wrong with him? It's, it's far. It's not far enough. Because um, if you want to be a model, you must love to travel, right? Mm, but you're not a mother yet. And I will never be if I go to school from home. So you be if you go to Benin Abbey. Do you even know what Benin has in stock for you? That's my bridge to cross when I get there, Kepa. Uh, what if it's not bridge? <clears throat> Thank you, Kefas, for making everything up for you.
How is your jam preparation going? Fine. I heard your friend, blessed him, and the other one, what's his name again? Papa. I heard they both put in really like as their first choice. I heard so too. You know, I would have thought that you would want to go to the same university as your friend. I went to the same university. What was close to this place? What's good for them is not good No. What is best for you is to go far away, where nobody knows you. Shewa, well, you cannot go through life alone. You can't. The situation is closed. I can't change it. Besides, why am I even eating in the living room? Why can't I eat in my room? Young lady, we eat as a family. Okay? Eating upstairs is bad habit. And querying me is good habit. We are not eating upstairs. You either stay here and eat or you're not eating at all. Shogba! Look, you can't just change your mind at the last minute. Well, I just did. So what am I supposed to explain to them when they ask after you? You can tell them anything you like. You know what? You can even tell them the truth. And how is that supposed to work out? I walk up to them and I say, I'm sorry, my wife cannot make it to your baby's dedication because she just doesn't want to come. You're a pastor. Speak the truth and let the truth set you free. Pastor Mrs. Mary, put yourself in their shoes for a minute. How do you expect them to feel? Well, you made it impossible for me to put myself in their shoes. You better not be going where I think you're going now. I'll you go there. You better not be going there. Because you took me there. And as usual, I follow in your footsteps. You know footsteps. what? I am not doing this. Have a look. I really, really want to go. You're making a big deal out of it. Because it's a huge deal. 25th of May should be a public holiday. I mean, it's your birthday. <laughs> Come on. I can't believe I won't make it. That's not what it is. Come <sighs> on. How can I in good conscience call myself your best friend? It's, it's just a group of people hanging out. You won't even like it. Of course I won't, but that's not the case here. So what's the case? I mean, I'm about to write jam and enter into university, and I have never been to a grown-up party. That's not true. Ha! Huh? I have been to kids' birthday parties, but all they do is dance around the chair, drink colored sugar water, and then I go home with a two-way exercise book with the celebrant's name badly printed on it. Colored sugar water. Tasty time. It's not funny. You know you've attended grown-up parties. Your parents, they throw grown-up parties. They don't count! All they do is drink chemical shoe, um, colored water and then try to talk politics. Chemical colored water. Shawa, red wine. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, so come with me. My parents will just kill me. Kefas! Kefas! This guy does this every time. Like, every time he calls us here and then keeps on us um, under the sun. Why are you always antagonizing him? Because it's easy. Plus, he has a massive crush on me. Massive. Everyone always have a crush on me, so you see. That's because everybody does have a crush on you. <laughs> Especially me. Aww. Aww. <laughs> this guy. Keep us. Oh, just keep us. So you've been here since?
Mm. It looks nice. I know. Very nice. <laughs> Mommy, are you admiring this your hair? You're admiring the person making your hair? Because you actually just brushed my hair now. You want me to admire you? Yes. Eh? I'm admiring my hair. <laughs> mm? I was only joking, no, sorry. I look beautiful, sir. Sweet 16. What? Mm -hmm. Sweet what? Sweet 16. With grey hair all over your hair. What? <laughs> what? I'm a sweet 16. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Which grey hair? Please, oh. I'm still young. I still want to have like two or three more kids. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Better for me. I'll just be sitting there in the parlor watching TV while they are washing plates in the kitchen. You know, I've said that you are, you are just lazy. You are looking for house girls <laughs> and house boys. No, is that not what you tell me to do? You tell me to wash plates in the kitchen, sweep the floor, wash the plates, clean your car, do everything. If you have other kids, I'll Shewa. just be sitting there in the parlor and be washing the plates in the kitchen. You are spoiled. Who spoiled me? Well, I spoiled you. Yes. <laughs> Um, Shewa, um, I got this for you. Shewa's eyes only. What's the need? You know I still say it's eventually. Keyword, eventually. Let Shewa see it first. Happy birthday, Shewa. Thank you, Shewa. Okay. Wow. You really want to show me? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I... I was thinking, what, what will you be doing? Don't, don't bother. She's celebrating tonight with Uncle Tunde. That's not what it is. Who's Uncle Tunde? Uncle Tunde is Shara's boyfriend. <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. Friend. Boyfriend? Now, yep. Uncle Tunde is just a friend. Like, Brother Toby is also just a friend. And Mr. Frank is just a friend. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Toby's brother is also just a friend, and his sister is also la, just a friend. La, la. <laughs> Jesus, now I know you're officially mad. <laughs> oh, God. Papas, I would really have loved to invite you, but I know it's not your kind of crowd, so... It's fine. I understand. You Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, then I yeah, yeah, yeah. The money no about me. Campaign on the missing no who are right fellowship. Campaign. When I'm in darkness, you give me light to see. In the midst of enemy, you hold me tight to be. Oh, they can't let you that you my love. You are the reading me, my son. I'm a long life, baby. You are the light within my soul. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me be your paradise and totally fall in love with you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no,
You blow my mind, cause you give me a minado. If I play your heart, may water carry me echo. Every night and day, you make me cry. Sly, I know you'll let you down. Now you be my queen to get the crown. This kind love, oh, this kind love, oh, you blow my mind. This kind love, oh, chronic on in love, oh, you blow my mind. Yeah. Make no more put on Sunday. If I move me, they fell out. I cannot stop to love you. Yeah. Me have to die for your love. When I'm in tune, that is all I need. You they play me like for Gatti Oh, supernatural baby Man, it's just baby lady I cannot do without you Good evening Come back here Where are you coming from? Kepa's house did you check the time? It's late. We had a lot of reading to do and we didn't start early. Kefa's house. Are you sure you didn't go anywhere else? We didn't start early. I was hoping you were going to come back early so that we could have gone to the market because of tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? It's the 25th. It's your birthday. I'll be going to the library tomorrow. To do what? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to celebrate that. Since when don't you celebrate your birthday? I did not invite anybody. Nobody is going to come. But I'm sorry I didn't tell you before you went to the market. There's food in the kitchen. Hey, hey, come back. You went out like this. No trousers. Yeah. Don't do that again. Good night. I'm fine. But you've been doing up since yesterday. You're not okay. I'm fine. Okay, fine. Take a day off. If you are still throwing up, use your medicine. I'm not sick. 
I'm just reacting to something I ate yesterday. Okay, follow me to the salon then. I'm late for the library. It will not take long. It won't. No. We'll be done before 12. I'm sure the library is still open till 6. I have a lot of reading to do. Madam. Manners. Has you take many? Sorry. Sorry. So, are you okay? Uh, don't bring water for her. <coughs> Sorry. Shawa, are you sure this is hangover? I don't think they're supposed to last this long. Sorry. <coughs> And I think she should go home. Give her small space now. Let her breathe. He's ah. right, though. I think you should go home. I don't want my aunt making a big deal out of this. Yes, it's not. When last you see your period? Don't even go there. They're showing the signs. You know, because your mother is a nurse, doesn't make you one. And you are sure, without a doubt, that so you are not pregnant. Sorry. So sorry. Sorry. Stop saying that. I I usually treat malaria every two weeks just in case. It's not malaria. Do you know the pharmacy that Blessing went to? I don't know. Charles. Yeah, stay here. Let's get our stuff. I think you just be in this. I can't believe you need to be sure. How long is this supposed to take, though? A few more minutes. 
can't believe this has happened to me. I can't believe this has happened to See, me. maybe it's nothing. Maybe you're even right, you know? And I jumped into conclusion. I was hoping I could lure her to church so that you can pray for her and share her cake with the congregation. But my daughter has a way of doing things. It's okay. But, um, you're sure we've come this late? Late? <laughs> Pastor, it's just 8.20. If she comes home this early, I won't be complaining. Is it that bad? Bad. If she was steps into this house by this time, there's fire on the mountain. Well, we can only keep praying for her and be patient with her. It's only God himself that can reel her in, lay his hands upon her and try and change her. I hope so. Good evening, Mark. You see what I'm saying? I do you think you're more no more? I'm not even caught you, but Connie. It's okay. Mude call. God Himself will capture her. God better capture her. God Himself will capture her. Amen. How was your day? Good. Cool. My day was great too. Thanks for asking. Anyway, the um, church is going to be holding a night vigil at the headquarters. The GO is going to be there and he requests that all pastors and their wives be present. Mary, did you hear what I, I said? I have a busy weekend. I already have plans. Which are? I'm heading the team for this month's Children Foundation Week. Children's Foundation? This is a night vigil at the headquarters. The geo is going to be there. Get your priorities right, woman. Priorities? Well, and whose priority is that? Mine or yours? I have a job to do. I certainly can't pull out now. This is, this is ridiculous. You know you have obligations as a wife of a pastor, right? <laughs> obligations. Let's talk about obligations. Let's talk about your obligations to me. As a husband. As a man. I wasn't talking about that. Mm, I'm talking about it. 
Why would you even want to blame me for something I have no control over? When it's time for the Lord to bless us with a child, He will bless us with a child. And when will the Lord bless us with a child? Let me guess. Never. Hmm? I, I find it very difficult to understand why you have such little faith right now. Because even the Bible said that faith without works is dead. We've been married for eight years. It's been eight good years. This is the 21st century. For crying out loud. There are more ways than one to conceive a child. A simple visit to a fertility doctor will not condemn you to hell. When the Lord deems it fit for us to have a child, we would have a child. That's final. No, you can't. Yes, I can. And I am. Shewa, you can't do that now. So Shewa, it's really dangerous. Look, I have plans for my future. And I am not going to let any pregnancy or whatever derail those plans. And I'm definitely not going to be a teenage mother. If we just need to calm down, okay, and probably think this through. We! We! Blessing, we are not the one pregnant here. I am. Um, am I interrupting? What took you so long now? Calm down, Sewa. Which level will be down? You said you'd be gone for 10 minutes and it's over an hour. Now, please, it seems I'd be the plea for dear. Eh? No worry, everything the inside. It's complete. No worry. Now because say you know one make people see you. I for carry you go, my guy, please. Fiam, you don't come out. Huh? Eh? Just follow the instruction where I give you. Go do alright.
Share what? Share what? Hmm? Aren't you going for studying today? I will. Oh, it's after 10? Mm, we are going to leave by 12. Ah. So are you sure you're okay? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm reading all through the night. I need no sleep. Okay. Oh. you guys don't get along but this is getting crazy you need to tell her immediately I'm not ready for Wahala right now but Wahala is the least of your worries now you know something else I know you like doing one man army mean, hmm? it's one of the things I admire about you but Shewa this is a pregnancy you need to see someone you need to go to the hospital you need to do tests you you need to just you can't do this I know I know I know I know I just need time to think. So, do you think still kept us? No. And he's been asking all sorts of questions. I don't think he believes that you're just sick. We are not going to tell anybody anything. Okay. Hello? I've been busy. Like I said earlier, I've been busy. What part of busy don't you understand? It's Tony the father. Oh. Are you sure it's not him? Like, you know you told me the other day that you guys had this. I know what I said. He's not the father. Shawa, you know who the father is? Fine. How long do you want to keep this from your auntie? Can I figure something out? Let's go. Wait. You guys finished late today. Yes. How are the exams? Preparations for it. It's going very well. I saw you didn't carry your backpack out. Right? Yes, I, I didn't need it today. What is this? And what is it doing in your backpack? What is it doing in your backpack? Shiba, what did I do wrong now? Where did I go wrong? Shiba, what did I do to this? What is it doing in your back? No, you have killed me now. Shewa, you have finished me. What's it me now? After everything I have done for you, 
I tried to be there for you day and night. All you do is push me away. Do I deserve this? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You are sorry. Oh no, you are not sorry. But you will be. You ungrateful child. You have ruined your life. You know, people, they tell me things about you. I, I chose not to believe them. Because I told them, you are not. You're a good girl, you're not a bad girl. You're a good girl, you're a kind girl, that is what I said. Yes. Where's the father? Who did this to you? your late night uh, visit has come out. Mm -hmm. Don't eh? mind me, Joe. I just had to come and see you. That is it. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I um, met with my travel agent and um, <laughs> he says he can arrange visas for us into the US. Okay. Maybe that, that's, that's great. He also said um, he has an invite for two already. All he has to do is impute the names and in three weeks, pew, we're out of here. Just to invite. Paul, what about Shewa? You are not her mother. Did you just say that to me? Come on, I mean, babe, you can take her to your brother's place in Abuja or something. Paul, I'm not living here without her. You have done enough for her already. You have devoted 15 years of your life to her. Maybe it's time you take one for yourself. This is our future we are talking about here, you know. Don't you want this for us? Huh? Oh, of course I want this. I want this for us. And I love you. But not without Shewa. Paul, Shewa is my life. She's my daughter. My flesh and blood. Oh. I guess deep down. Before coming here tonight, I knew how all this would pan out. Can't blame me for trying to. I commend you for what you've been doing and the sacrifices you've been making for her. That's actually one of the reasons why I love you. I just hope you don't realize too late how quickly life passes one by. You can't hide behind your devotion to her forever, you know. What do you think will happen when she finds out that you are not her mother? That's what I thought. See you. Paul. Paul.
So I I think we should see someone for counseling. This is not a marriage. All we do is fight constantly. I don't think it's healthy and uh, frankly speaking, I think it's unchristian. I know this has been very tough, yeah, but uh, I believe that if both of us work hand in hand together, we can make it out of this as a couple. You really want us to go see my father? Yes. And you think, or you believe that's a solution to our problem? I believe that through counseling, we can, we can start to rebuild our marriage. Do you think I'm being unreasonable? I don't follow. What do you mean by unreasonable? I mean, do you think I'm being unreasonable when I suggest we seek a fertility specialist. Look, Mary, we've had this conversation times without number, and you know my stand on this subject. I didn't sign up for this, you know. I didn't sign up to become a pastor's wife. You go out and come back, and you say you have a calling from God. And what did I do? I supported you. And now, it's affecting our future. My future. You're not the only Christian in this house, you know. You make it seem as if I'm suggesting something fetish or out of the ordinary. If you don't want to have a child, please say so. Stop hiding behind some funny, ridiculous beliefs. So how did it go? I don't know. Does she not mean go through your things like this when you're not home? I don't know. Tell me now, what did she say? How did it go? Sir, I don't want to talk about it, please. Stupid girl. How can you let this happen? How can you do this yourself? Osipami, you have killed me. You have ruined your life. You are a whore. You are a shameless whore. So what now? What now is that my life is officially over? Shall I need to tell you something? One of my neighbors saw me the other day when I went to the pharmacy to get the pregnancy kit and she told my mommy she thought it was my own at first but I had to tell her it was for you Shema, I'm sorry but I don't think we can read together again my mom won't allow it I had to even lie today because I told her that I came, I forgot my books here, and then I had to pick it up at Kefas's place. Shema. Are you here with your aunt? I need to talk to you. What about? Oh, 
All right, have a seat then. Chewa, Chewa, wait. I've been calling you now. You've not been picking my calls. We finished like two days of group study and you were not around. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Shawa, are you sure you want us to be still talking together? Hey, tell my serious now. Go and tell your mom. That's not fair. Ah, Shawa, wait now. Hey, what just happened? You won't understand. Then explain to me now. Just leave her now. You know I could have run you down with the car? We need to talk. It's very urgent. Then get inside the car and then let's go to my office. Mm -hmm. No. Let's talk here. Now. Okay. What is this urgent thing that you need to speak to me about right now? Have you spoken to my auntie? Your auntie? Yes. No. About what? I'm pregnant. What? I said I'm pregnant. Wow. That's unfortunate. Does your auntie know? Yes. <laughs> your poor auntie. All my plans. Everything I've planned for my dreams. Everything is real. Hey, 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 this is not the time for you to come and start crying over spilt milk. Okay? This is time for you to think properly and then take responsibility for your actions. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody what you did to me. And who do you think they'll believe? Me, a respected man of God, or you with all your whoring about? I was a virgin and you know it. What does that matter? You're not going to get away with this. Look, I don't have time for this. I'm late. I'll make sure you get rid of that thing in your stomach. Hold on. You said you told your auntie about this. Did she believe you? I guess that's much. <laughs> Is it true that you're not my mother? Shewa. Shewa, please. So it's I, true. Shewa, I can explain. I can explain why she. At least let me, let me... Where is my mother? Sit.
You know, the day you were born, your mother, my sister and I, we, we stayed up all night talking, laughing. I slept off and when I woke up, there was commotion everywhere. People were carrying the baby bags, getting the car. Your mother just sat there, smiling, calm. When we got into the car, I asked her, why, why are you so calm? She said to me, she is about to experience the most excruciating pain of her life. And all I can think about is the joy that will come afterwards. She was, she was referring to you. You were that joy. That's a night. I picked up the shawl of motherhood because I promised my sister that you will not know the pain of being an being an orphan. Jewa, I dedicated my life to you. I gave up everything for you. It may have our differences, but I do not regret anything. You shouldn't have kept it for me. She what I wanted to protect you. I didn't know how to sit you down and tell you that your mother died the same night you were born. <laughs> or that I didn't know who your father was. Because your mother kept it from me. <laughs> same way you are keeping this from me, Shewa. <sighs> Look at me. Tomorrow morning, We will go to the hospital. We will do a full medical checkup. But sure, well, we need to know who the father of this child is now. So tell me what his name is and where his name is. I even told you who the father is. What are you saying now? What are you saying? Why are you doing this to me? What have I done wrong? I told you I'm so lying. They raped me. Why are you saying this? Why are you saying oh, this? Oh God. Why? I will always run. She was a man of God now. He's a man of prestige. He cannot rape. Don't you want to believe me? Why don't you want to believe me, Auntie? Who told you to say this? Oh, Are you doing this to punish me? Who do you want to punish me, Sorry. <laughs> no, tell me that. Are you doing this? I'm not saying to you. I'm 
omo to ba ni pe ya won le so wo mi igbo no ni foju kon ni there will not be rest for you too why won't you believe me why won't you believe me i have tried to give you a little bit Stay for tonight. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll be out. Okay. Let's go. It's not a problem. Thank you. So, um, do you want to talk about what happened with your auntie? I mean, I'm good with now. I don't know, Kay. I just feel like people would look at me and see the worst in me. I mean, normally I wouldn't mind, but people would look at me a certain way and or even see me talking to a boy and assume that I sleep around. I, it's so stupid, I used to say that's some superpower. You know, people can't use something against you if you own it. Now, I don't even know anymore. You know, Blessing's mother told her to stop hanging out with me. Yeah, I mean, Blessing told me, but I, I don't understand why. And I was really angry with Blessing. I don't even know why. I used to think I was alone, but, you know, it's just... I feel like this is what loneliness really feels like. No, you're not alone now. You have me. Thank you, Kay. Thank you for letting me spend the night here. Yeah. What a friend's fault, man. So I... 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 I, I don't... I don't know if you... Notice, but I, I've, I've always had a crush on you. Yeah, sure. I'm not serious. I mean, I've, I've, I've tried to ask you out, but I, I haven't seemed to. I, I never seem to get myself to do it. Okay. Um. This is this is not the right. I'm. I'm not in the right space of mind for this. I, I... I understand, but just that I wanted to get it out there. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't want you to feel obliged to say anything. I'm not trying to pressurize you if if you don't if you don't want to say anything. <clears throat> hey, where are you going? Look, I really appreciate you letting me stay here tonight, but I really think I should go. Hey, now, wait, 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 now. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for everything I said here. I, I didn't mean to scare you or anything. 
You didn't scare me. I'm not scared. Just think I should Wait. So, so what's the horrible thing I said now? Now tell me. Kevas, please let me leave. Do you know you're selfish? You are one of the most selfish and self-centered person I've ever met. You, you think the world revolves around you? Everybody must, must run around to please Shewa because she's so special. Kevas, please let me leave. My mommy did this. And this one said that. You think everybody in the world is out to get you? A favor for one's thoughts. Maybe if you are the problem. Have you? Have you called to confess? Well, none of your concern. It wouldn't be if your aunt would just stop calling me while I'm right beside my wife, you little devil. Well, I guess it's true when they say there is no sleep for the wicked. Funny, very funny. Now, listen to me, you sport little brat. Just go home. And I'll call you and you come and meet me somewhere so we discuss what you do with that little thing that you're carrying. You think I'm scared? You should hear the way you sound right now. Just wait until the truth comes out. Truth? What truth? Nobody will believe you. Even your own heart does not believe you. Who do you know? Where do you want to go? You're just a little nobody. And no one listens to nobody. Hello. Baba, you need to be a good person. Hello. You are a good person. I am a Hello. my God. Any person. Hey! Any Nibo! Stand back!
啊。Morning, morning, mommy. Ah, what's the problem? So you are here this morning. <laughs> I, I, I'm not fine. There's quiet on my I don't want to sit down. Calm down. It's a dishwa. Calm down. It's a dishwa. I can't find her. I don't know where she went to. I told you to have normal. That God is in control of the situation. Why can't I find her? What happened to Adishewa? I'll explain to you when I get back. You're going out. Yes. Let's one. But I... But I... I... Oh, are she going to work? Mm, I had to sneak out. I can't stay for too long. Listen, I'm so sorry. I haven't been a good friend to you. I don't deserve you. All is forgiven. Okay. I don't deserve you. Of course. What's the plan now? 
I'm too young. I'm too young. I can't, I can't be a mother. I, can, I need to take this off. That's the only option I have right now. You really want to do this? I don't have a choice, do I? <gasps> After everything I have done for you, I try to be there for you day and night. All you do is push me away. Do I deserve this? You are one of the most selfish and self-centered person I've ever met. You think the world revolves around you? Everybody must, must run around to please Shewa because she's so special. And who do you think they believe? Me, a respected man of God, or you with all your whoring about? Shewa, I dedicated my life to you. I gave up everything for you. My mommy did this, and um, this one said that. You think everybody in the world is out to get you? A favor for one's thoughts, maybe if you have a problem. You're just a little nobody, and no one listens to nobody. I, I reached out to one of the Women and Children Foundation one time and then they just called me back. Shewa, let's go. <laughs> we, have, we have to go right now. I can't do this. Shewa, she can help. The foundation can help. I don't know. Shewa, listen to me. Shewa, Shewa. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me a little about the situation. And I know you don't trust anybody right now. But I, I'm not here as a pastor's wife. I'm here to listen. Oh, oh God, listen. If you can help me. You don't know that just yet, do you? You know what? Just give me five minutes, okay? Give me five minutes of your time. Hear me out. Hear what I have to say. And if you still don't want to talk, I'll leave. Okay? Come to the car. So, uh, listen to me. You may technically still be a child, but with what your friend has told me, 
your experiences this past couple of days, you've definitely experienced much more than an adult in their lifetime. And so in my books, that makes you an adult and I'll address you as one. Okay? Now, I don't know the specifics and I don't know how Pastor Jacob got involved, but I am sure he's involved and I know he's scared. From where I sit as a pastor's wife, you hear all kinds of things. Some rumors, some true, some false. And all these speculations have aroused my curiosity. I know that it may be hard for you to trust me. You may feel that my loyalty is with my husband. But right now, we're like roommates. We're barely like husband and wife. And so, I need you to feel free to talk to me. You may not want to open up to me now, but whenever you are ready, my foundation is here. And they will listen, I promise. Okay? Okay? I believe you, Shewa. I believe every single word you say. It all makes sense. I promise that from here on now, I'll take care of you. Okay? Now wipe your eyes. It's okay. My love, welcome. How's your day? Mwah. Mwah. What's she doing here? She? She's family. I don't understand. What don't you understand? The family part? Or the part where God prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. At least you'll soon be a father. Well done. Well done, Pastor.
The devil. You will always call on the devil when you make mistakes. You will never take responsibility. Other people might see you as a vessel of honor or God's vessel for all I care. But you know what you are? You're just a man. An ordinary man. No, scratch that. What kind of man impregnates a young teenager and threatens her, if not the devil? Hmm? What kind of man rapes a young girl, if not, if not the devil himself? Rubbish.